always heard of Elliott Capital Management? Anyone? Does anyone know what they are? They're a vulture fund. They're a hedge fund, basically. They manage the money of rich people, not just any rich people, really the super rich, the people who hang out in Mayfair and have multi-million pound, multi-asset portfolios. But they have just won um, a court case against Argentina, and they're forcing Argentina to pay $1.3 billion in debt, which uh, Argentina built up under the military dictatorship. They're forcing them to pay that or to default on all of their debt. They don't really want you to know who they are. Um, their, their office is um, next to Primark on Oxford Street. It um, doesn't have a sign on the door or, and the reception uh, refuses to confirm or deny if they're there. But <laughs> why is this relevant to TTIP? Because this is a brief snapshot into the brave new world that TTIP will usher in if we let it pass. It means that, that First of all, our government, there are proposals in TTIP, but first of all, our governments will not be able to bring in new regulations on the banks and on financial actors. We, in, a, in the point in time where, after the, the financial crisis, things are getting worse, we will not be able to regulate the banks to stop them ha making it happen again. And second, the ISDS that everyone's talked about means that vulture funds will be able to sue our governments, firstly for lost profits, if we regulate them and they can't make as much money as they want to. And secondly, if we face debt crisis again, which we very likely will, it means that vulture funds, rich banks, and financial speculators will be able to sue us for the repayment of those debts. It basically will usher in a world where banks and financial speculators have more rights than us and our governments. And that's why we need to stop it. And even though TTIP's scary, what's exciting about it is it unites all of us, not just um, uh, as working on our individual struggles, but all together, and I think we can win. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you, Sarah.